Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jono. Today is February 3rd. Yes. Right. It's on a Saturday. Right next to me, we have Tim Fang officially making our Dragon House promotion debut. Uh, our next upcoming event, March 16th, at the heart of San Francisco. Uh, Daily City also as well, Cow Palace, the historical WWE building, uh, hosting a huge event, and then our team is making his debut on our event. Also, um, get to see one of the up-and-comers performing on our event. Now, let's introduce you to all the five fans out there. Where are you coming from, Tim, and where are you born and raised? What's up, everyone? My name's Tim, born here with California, fighting on San Jose, Smash Shoes. So, you're a native? Yeah, I am from the Bay Area, born and raised. Damn, that's pretty good though. And now, how old are you, Tim? I'm 28. 28 years old. Uh, how long have you been training martial arts? Um, I've been wrestling for a bit, but the first time I put on gloves and hit pads was late 2020. So, pretty new to the game, but decided to jump in. Now, you had two amateur fights right now, so far, right? Two amateur mixed martial arts fights, yes. And it's a one win, one loss, one win. Yep. So now, on this upcoming fight, you're against the guy, it's um, Zachary Chernoff from uh, North Bay, BJJ in um, Novato. Um, what do you think of him? Uh, he's a young guy, I know he goes by Baby Shrek. Um, yeah. I've seen his fight. Well, he's relatively new too, so. Much what I know when you're watching him fight, um, what do you see yourself have an uh, advantage on him? I think I see my advantages in all aspects of the game. You know, I think my striking is better. Um, he's a wrestler, but I think my grappling and wrestling is a notch up. So. And what what uh, what belts are you on, uh, Jiu Jitsu? I'm actually a white belt. Nice. White belt. Nice. But we're, we're leveling up every day. That's we pretty awesome. We work secret on the grind daily, though. That's awesome. And uh, do you have a full-time job, Tim? I do have a full-time job, yes. I'm a personal trainer at Google. At Google? Yeah. Man, that's a sweet job. So you guys got snack all day, right? No, yeah. That weight cut is a, is a trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ribeye every day. And uh, ribeyes? Ribeyes or a uh, flank steak. You know, Damn! I you know, might give you a box. Oh, oh shit. Well, that's a pretty awesome, you know, good to have those hookups, you know. In a perfect world, how much longer do you think you would do amateur before you go pro? Not sure. We're taking it one fight at a time. We're not looking too far in the future, but stay tuned. We might not know. That's pretty, future. Awesome. That's pretty awesome. Now, Tim, you're 155 pounds coming into this fight. What do you walk around weight? I walk around 170 to 175. So that's my so walking weight. That's a pretty standard for 55. Yeah. And you're pretty tall and lanky. You know how tall are you, Tim? About 5'10, 5'11. Wow. Six foot sometime. Six foot, two pants today, right? I put that on my bio. <laughs> so now, this upcoming fight, obviously, you against the guy probably a little shorter and more stockier. So, what's your game plan coming into this fight? You know, um, in my past fights, I am considered a brawler. I'm not scared to brawl, but I have this uh, height and reach advantage, so I'm going to stick to my jab, keep that distance, and if the brawl comes to it, I'm going to brawl it out. That's pretty awesome. Now, do you have anybody out there that's in mind that you want to fight someday? Oh, definitely. So my first mixed martial arts fight was a loss against Sky Shin Jones at SF Combat, and I definitely want to avenge that loss at any point. So. Sky, Sky? Sky Shin Jones. Where does he come from? He's out of El Nino training center. Oh, okay. Yeah, so local around this area. You want to get a rematch on him? I'm going to need that fight again. Yeah. How did that fight run down? Yeah, I lost by first round submission. You know, I came in guns blazing. I'm a little hot headed fighter, so he caught me in a uh, takedown, slamming the ground, got me a little bit of And we didn't get really have time to stand and bang, so um, I've been working on my game, leveling up, and hopefully the next time we go, I get to throw some hands. That's pretty awesome. That's great. Well, for more information about this upcoming fight card, making sure you guys stay tuned. Check out dragonhousemma.com. This event is called First Round Fights at the Cow Palace. Don't miss it up, guys. It's going to be over 25s on the card. The biggest MMA card in California in the regional scene. So do not miss it out. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to buy a ticket to come watching you fight, how can people support you and how people reach out to you? I got an Instagram. Handle is Tito Suave. T-I-T-O underscore Suave. Tito Suave. Tito Suave. How do you get that name? I don't know, I have many personas. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. 
Um, now, any special loved one, training partner, coaches, sponsors that you want to shout out to? Of course, got to shout out Smash Gyms, Coach Rudy Ott, uh, Coach uh, Daniel Compton, my training partners, Edwin Del Santos, Reno Bergen right here. Um, and everyone in that room, they're helping me get better. Uh, Tristan Ernal, Peter Ishiguro, uh, and Coach Johnny over at Milpitas Boxing. It's crazy, every person that you talk about, they always start off in my show. Yeah. Years and years back, and now a lot of people elevate to a different game. I remember Christian Arno, yeah. when he fought on my show, that was probably ooh, 10 years, maybe? Mm -hmm. 10 years ago, you know? He was a young, he was a young kid. I, I, was, I, was, I still remember when I was interviewing him, and uh, now time flies, man. Everyone's become a dad, become a coach, and now the young, young, younger, up-and-coming generation like you, it's taking over, you know, so can't wait to watching uh, you perform, you know. So now if people consider you, if you consider yourself as a striker, a grappler, a brawler, what do you consider yourself? I'm a sprawling brawler. <laughs> I got wrestling, but I like to keep it standing. That's pretty awesome. Well, most people like to, you know, like to stand up and bang and like to watch that because it's more fireworks and exciting, especially some people don't train. They don't really understand the grappling, the, the, the ground and pound aspect of it. So they see two guys trying to take the heads off. They usually cheering for somebody, you know. So uh, definitely it's pretty cool. So how long have you been working Google? Uh, it's about two years now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty years. awesome. Google personal trainer eats New York State all the time. This is pretty great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if your opponent watching this interview, what do you have to say to uh, Zachary Chernoff? Zachary Chernoff, uh, I saw the interview and he only had respect for me, so respect to you, but March 16th, let's try and take each other's heads off. Give a little bit of prediction, what do you think the fight's gonna go down? Ben's called first round, so we're trying to get a first round finish, knock out our submission. Uh, that's beautiful. All right, for more info, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. The upcoming event after March 16th is June 8th. Back to Keys on. Now this one, it's gonna be in Cal Cali. Like some pay per view link, it's gonna be on my website. Uh, the fight card we are doing the update this week, so making sure you guys stay tuned. And um, don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me some love and support. So follow me on Instagram. If any coaches, fighters wanna get on this upcoming March 16th card, we're trying to add a couple more fights on the prelim, also the undercard. So uh, DM me fighters, wanna get on it. And uh, the biggest card, you do not wanna miss it. It's a huge, it's historical building. Cal Palace and uh, gigantic plasma TV, walkout slow motion, uh, replay, you can name it. It's a beautiful venue and uh, fighter would love to fight on there. So DM me, anybody, um, any the last word you want to say to anybody out there? I haven't had a boring fight yet, so come watch. That's pretty awesome. Now, who is your favorite UFC fighter? Uh, favorite UFC fighter's gotta be Matt Brown. Matt Brown, yes, Holy the shit. immortal Matt Brown, yeah. the immortal crazy ass Matt Brown, yeah, high pace striker. That's pretty awesome. Some of you guys if don't know who's Matt Brown is. Check him out. That guy do not put on a boring fight. Every fight he get on the cage, it's either he get knocked out, or he's gonna knock somebody out. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, the style you like to fight, right? Yes, sir. Kill up the kill. Kill up the kill. That's pretty good. Now it's awesome to have team making his debut, and I'm Jung Lo. Very, very looking forward to see team perform in March 16. Hope all these upcoming young guys train hard, train safe, and then make it to the day of the fight and put on a show for all the five pins out there. Uh, thank you again for having me on board. I'm Joan Lowe signing out. See you guys March 16th.